comment, and subscribe for more content. Where's the notification bell? It's to the right of you. Oh. What's up, guys? It's DK Rusty here from a Funko Popcast. And in today's video, I'm going to be ranking every Ad Icon Funko Pop released from 2011 to 2018. But before that happens, make sure you press that subscribe button for more content like this video in the future, and press the little bell beside it to be notified of when future content gets released. But anyways, guys, let's check it out. So like I said, in today's video, we are going to be ranking every Ad Icon Funko Pop released from 2011 to 2018. Now you're probably thinking why we're only doing 2011 to 2018, and that is because the years of 2019, 2020, and especially 2021 itself all have more Funko Pops than what we're covering today. So eventually on this channel, we will be doing separate videos of every Ad Icon Pop released in 2019, then 2020, and then especially 2021. We'll do separate videos of those in the future. In this video, it's not only going to be myself, but my fellow co-host MD Shady will be featured in this video today through the Zoom app because I felt like it would have been a little awkward for me to just do the ad icon ranking by myself so i thought let's have someone who is a huge fan of the ad icons lineup that being my co-host empty shady be a part of today's video now i do want to mention that in this video we are not including the freddy funko figures that are certain ad icon figures just because those aren't a part of the pop ad icons lineup those are a part of the pop funko lineup all right, guys, so we are now on the Zoom app. We have MD right here on the Zoom app. We are ready. Are you ready to rank every Ad Icon Funko Pop from 2011 to 2018? Absolutely. I am pumped for this. All right, so I definitely forgot to mention during the beginning of the video of the different, I guess, rankings for this, which starting from worst to best, it is clearance, could have been better, not bad, really good and amazing which good thing we have md here because it probably would have been an entirely different ranking if it was just by myself so we have it exactly in numerical order from when ad icons were first released in 2011 which is just these i guess six or seven pops we have here and then it goes from 2016 to 2018 because there's a huge gap in between 2011 and 2016 where there's no ad icon pop so i guess we can start out with the og cereal pops all three of them essentially starting out with the count chocula which where would you rank this md i would probably put that one into really good i mean obviously okay. the three ad icons for that they're they're great ad icons and i mean it starts it off that's the first ad icon so it makes sense that's a really good pop now where did you put the metallic version Let's the metallic i would probably put that in clearance not gonna lie Ooh. okay hmm i put it it could have been better i don't think it's clearance but i think it could have been better like it's I, still... I would accept that okay so i'll put it in could have been better frankenberry frankenberry i think has to go right beside count chocula and really good would it go like right beside like right here or in front of it uh we'll we'll go we'll go just beside it not in front of it okay and then now the metallic version i would assume the same under could have been better yeah let's do that okay now booberry which has three versions we got the normal one the metallic one for sdcc and then we have a chase one of that normal one I would probably put that normal one into not bad. Okay. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. Of course, we got the metallic and the glow in the dark, which I have not seen the glow in the dark version. Like I haven't searched up any photos, so I would have no idea exactly where to rank it because I haven't seen what the glow in the dark looks like. Fair enough. So with the metallic one, I think we'd have to just put it beside the could have been betters. Okay. And then the glow in the dark version. The glow in the dark, I would put really good and I'd put it in between Count Chocula and Frankenberry. And the reason for that is because since it's kind of a different kind of plastic, I guess, because it's the glow in the dark plastic, it kind of gives it more of a feel that he is a ghost. So I feel like that is something that makes it a bit better. All right, so we'll move on now to 2016 ad icons, kicking off with the SDCC Big Boy, one of Top Pop's most requested pops he wants in his collection. Personally, I think it'd be really good, but I'm not entirely sure where it should be placed on really good. Yeah, I also agree it's probably in really good. 
I would say maybe at the front of really good. Yeah, I agree with that. That's where I was thinking too. Now we got the Bullseye Pops, Target exclusives, both the common and the flocked versions. I know you're a big fan of this specific ad icon. I'm not really a big fan of it, but I know you are. So where would you personally rank this? I think I would put them both under not bad. As much as I do love this ad icon and I do really enjoy these pops, there's just not a whole lot going on with them. And that is because of the design of the character, obviously. But I think not bad is kind of the perfect spot. And I'm just going to assume before I put it there, the flock version over the common right in front of it. Over the common. Yeah, we'll do that. All right. Now we go on to Fruit Brute and Yummy Mummy, both Funko Shop exclusives. I can't remember the exact piece count for them, but I know they were Funko Shop exclusives. I don't really know much about them. I think this is more towards your range here. Where would you put these? Oh, this is a tough one. I think I'd put them both in not bad. Okay, where exactly would they would go? Would they go in front or behind? Uh, put them between Booberry and the, and the Target ad icon. Okay, so f there's Fruit Brute. Does Mummy Mummy go beside here or does it go in front? Um, Behind Fruit Brute. Okay. Yeah, just. Yeah, I kind of agree. I like the Funko Sodas better than the actual pop itself or Yummy Yeah. Mummy. I think this is a no brainer here of where we're putting Tony the Tiger, correct? Are we agreeing that's going under Amazing and that the Flock one's going in front of the common one? Yes. Okay, yeah, that was an easy yeah. one. That was probably our easiest one. Then we got. Uh, the Coco Puffs bird, I keep forgetting the name. Sunny the Coco or the Cuckoo or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, that was it. I totally forgot. Yeah, I don't know where to put this one. I feel like it's somewhere either not bad or really good, but not. I don't exactly know where to put it. Yeah, I would say put it at the front of not bad. Okay, yeah, uh, that's perfect. Oh, whoops, that's really good. Uh, not bad. Yeah, <laughs> that's better. Then we got the Tricks the Rabbit Pops flocked and the common one, which assuming we're going to put the flocked one, obviously, in front of the common version, even though they're both Funko Shop exclusives. I just don't know where to put them. Hmm. Hmm. I think the common should be in between Booberry and Sunny in Not Bad and the flocked one should be at the end of really good. Okay. Yeah, I agree with that. Now we got the Lucky the Leprechaun from Lucky Charms, both Funko Shop exclusives. One's a common, one is glow in the dark. I think personally, I don't know if you'll agree with this, common one goes under amazing at the end and glow in the dark either goes, it goes in really good, but it'll go either in front or behind big boy. Uh, what's your reasoning for that? Is the glow in the dark not good on this pop? No, I mean, the glow in the dark is green. I just feel like it wasn't really necessary, in my opinion, for it to be glow in the dark. It was just, hey, let's re release this pop because some people might have missed out on the original one because I think the original one was a limited piece count. Sure. Yeah, I like that idea. Okay. Boom. And then, yeah, mm, in front, behind. I didn't, I don't know if we thought about that. I one would yet. say in front of Big Boy. Okay, uh, it's all glitched out. I'll do this. There we go. Boom. Then we got ourselves the Jeffrey the Drafts. They're both the same ones, except once again, it is a more common version. And then we got the flocked version. Both Toys R Us exclusives. I, I personally don't know where to put this one. Probably under not bad, at least in my opinion. You might want to put it under really good. I would say the common is, yeah, we'll, we'd put it at the end of not bad. Okay, and then the flocked version? Flocked version, to me, it would either go to the front of not bad or at the end of really good. Okay. Uh, hmm. Now I'm thinking, I'm looking at the overall design of Sunny from Coco Puffs, and I'm kind of liking it better than Jeffrey. So I'm thinking, hmm, should we... Hmm, this is, yeah, this is really tough. Yeah, you know what? I'll put it at the end of really good because I like the Trex Rabbit better than the Jeffrey the Giraffe as terms of the flocking if that's cool. Yeah. Okay, boom, dropped. All right, now we got Toucan Sam, which I think once again, this is one we're gonna agree on. It's gonna go under amazing. It's just depending on, I think, it's either gonna go in front or behind Lucky the Leprechaun. I don't think it's gonna surpass, or really, I don't know if there's gonna be any pops today in this video that are going to surpass that Tony the Tiger, at least in my opinion. Yeah, you might be right. I would put it in front of Lucky. Yeah, I'm leaning towards that now because of like the overall 
colors and detail involving the ad icon itself. So yeah, in front of Lucky the Leprechaun. Then we got the Captain Crunch Pop, which I think this is the Target exclusive with the cereal bowl. Yeah, I don't know where to put this one. I don't know for some reason if it should be under really good or like amazing, maybe not bad. I almost agree with exactly what you said. I think it should be at the very front of really good. Really? I do believe that. Hmm. I really enjoy that pop. Okay, I'll go off your instinct. Personally, I probably would put it in behind Lucky the Leprechaun here, but I'm going to put it in front just because of your instinct there. But yeah, I'll put it under really good. Then we got ourselves the Crunchberry. Oh God, I forgot the name of it. Mint, Crunchberry, Mintberry. What's the name? Do you know the name of this I think, character? Isn't it just, it's Crunchberry Monster, I think is what it's called. Oh, it's something like that. People will probably just hound me in the comment section below for forgetting this guy's name. But yeah, this is from Captain Crunch. Also, I don't know where to put this. I feel like it's not up there in like really good, amazing, maybe possibly somewhere in not bad, like near the end. Yeah, I would either say at the front of could have been better or at the end of not bad yeah i might put it under could have been better like the very front because yes yes like i like the jeffrey better than the crunch whatever its name crunch guy <laughs> but uh I, I i definitely think it's better than the metallic variants here then we got john lafoot this was looks to be a funko shop exclusive through the tiny little sticker I can see on the Zoom recording right now. Uh, wow, I don't know where to put this. I would say, I think it's better than the Crunchberry Monster. So I would say at the end of Not Bad or just in front of the Crunchberry Monster. Okay, hmm. I'm thinking now as I'm looking at some of these Not Bad categories, possibly just because of detail itself, it could go in front of Bullseye from Target and behind the Yummy Mummy but it could go under the end of not bad but i don't know what your take is on that i think hmm, let's let's slap them in between both the bullseyes okay so it would be behind the flocked version and in yes. front of the common boom right there then we got the common variant of the noid which unfortunately we won't be talking about the glow in the dark variant that'll be in an eventual ranking every ad icon Funko Pop in 2020 video that we'll do because that was released then in the Pop and Tea Bundle. But we have the normal version right now released in 2018, I believe. This one's a little weird. I like Domino's, but I don't really know the ad icon all that much and where to exactly put it. Definitely, in my opinion, it could be under not bad. It's just a matter of where it should be put under not bad. I don't think it's really good. Yeah, I agree with that. I do own the Pop and I do like the character. And yeah, it was just kind of a thing that they did back in du jour they don't really use the noid anymore i think it should be maybe either in front of the flocked bullseye or just behind it in front of john lafoot so you're saying yeah either here or it's gonna go oh wait ah, come on or here so it's either in front or behind john lafoot yeah yeah we'll do it that way yeah, I'm thinking behind, just because detail better on John LaFoot here. So now we got the Singapore girl. Do we put this as maybe the one and only pop under clearance? Because I don't think really anyone besides anyone living in the Philippines would know about the Singapore girl or Singapore, Philippines. It literally says Singapore girl in the name. So of course it's <laughs> Singapore. So do we put this under clearance just because the majority of the world probably wouldn't get this unless you live in Singapore? Yes, we'll do it that way because I don't feel like there's gonna be any other pops in clearance and obviously it's a category for a reason. Plus, if you really think about it, if that pop was sold, let's say at one of our local EB games, eventually that's gonna be a pop that is on clearance. Let's just be real. Okay, yeah, that's kind of where I'm getting that also with that, so cool. It will most likely be the one and only clearance pop in this list. Then we got Bazooka Joe over here, which this is all you, because I have no idea who Bazooka Joe is. Bazooka Joe, I also own this pop. I like this pop, but by no means is it amazing. I think, hmm, I would put it behind Yummy Mummy. Okay. That. Yeah. Boom. All right, now we got this green Captain Crunch character. I once again forget the name of that character. But Cosmic it, Crunch, I think, is what that's, it is. Uh, yeah, okay, that's exactly what it was. I remember I had to do something with Cosmic or something. So yeah, Cosmic Crunch, Funko Shop exclusive, and it glows in the dark. Where would you rank this? 
Yeah, I really like this pop and I want to own it eventually. I've had many opportunities to buy it, but I just haven't pulled the trigger. But I don't think it's really a needed addition to the Captain Crunch lineup. So I'd probably put it at the end of could have been better. Ooh, right here. All right. All right, I'll go with that. Then we got Buzz the Bee from Cheerios, Funko Shop exclusive. It was part of the 2018 Christmas bundle, I'm pretty sure, or like the 12 Days of Christmas. I'm pretty sure that's when it was released in 2018. This one's tough because this thing's got quite a bit of detail. And of course, I love Cheerios. So it's a matter of where it's getting placed between really good and amazing because I don't think it's any lower than that. Yeah, uh, I exactly agree with you. And I think it should be right behind the Lucky the Leprechaun in Amazing. Yeah, true. I'd probably eat Lucky Charms more than Cheerios. So boom, right there. (laughs) Now here's one we're gonna have super different opinions of. We've talked about this off camera before. We have the Sugar Bear from Golden Crisp, formerly known as Sugar Crisp. I've mentioned before that this is an abomination of a cereal, should not exist. Personally, I put this under clearance, but of course I can't put it under clearance because it by no means is it even considered a clearance pop because I know a lot of people would wanna get this. It's a matter of the detail and then yeah, of course our own hype towards this. Where would you personally put this? I would put it at, uh, I do like this pop. I think I would put it in between the Trix Rabbit and Jeffrey the Giraffe in really good. And then I also believe that we need to move Sunny the Coco up right beside it. Okay, not bad. So hmm. put it there. And then I'm putting Sunny personally because of my hatred towards the pop. I'm putting it in front of Sugar Bear. Yes, that's exactly what. (laughs) All right, so now we got the, I guess, 20th anniversary of Funko Big Boy, which I know you have this pop. It's, I definitely think it's nowhere near as cool as that SDCC exclusive. So I think it shouldn't even be in really good, or at least it could be, but right at the end. But I think it's somewhere not bad. I think it should be at the front of could have been better because there is one that's better. Ooh. True, true, true. Oh yeah, there is more, but that's probably down the line of 2019 and 2020. So yeah, I'll put it under, could have been better. Now we got Diggum Frog over here. Once again, it's an ad icon that I don't really know about, but I know MD, you own this pop. I feel like for some reason you own two from buying some bundles from people. Yeah, yeah, I do own two of the Diggum Pops. I would personally put it probably, oh... I would say put it at the first pop under not bad. Okay. Yeah, I'll agree with that. Detail. It was close to making really good, but I I feel like the front of not bad is kind of a better spot for it. Oh, there we go. Finally goes in front of there. All right. Now we got fruit pie. The magician. Where would you put this MD? Oh, oh, (laughs) this is getting tough because I I love all these pops so much. Ah, fruit pie. I would put it at the end of not bad, to be honest. Okay. Yeah, I'll agree with you there. All right. So we got the Twinkie the Kid Pops. One is a common variant that is wearing blue. And then you have the Chase variant that's wearing red, but it's got the white cowboy hat. Where would you put these? I honestly don't know where I'd put these, honestly. So. Yeah, I don't know either. I do own both of those pops. Uh... Yeah, I would put both of them in front of... Just behind Bazooka Joe in Not Bad. All right, so which one is going in front of where? So like, I know it's going behind, but is the chase better than the common? No, I like the common better than the chase. Okay, boom. Now we got King Ding Dong. This was a Funko Shop exclusive, and I'm pretty sure, unfortunately, for 2019's video, we're gonna be talking about those silver metallic pops, which I think we know where those are gonna end up going when we do that video. Uh, But where would you put King Ding Dong? I would probably put him just in front of the fruit pie at the end of Not Bad. Not bad. Now we got the 2018 Canadian Convention slash Fan Expo, Jeffrey as Iron Man. Personally, I think this should be going into could have been better, mainly because you look at all these Jeffrey the Draft Pops, it's got the long neck. Where's the long neck on this pop? Even with the Batman and the Superman pops that they eventually did, which we will discuss about those in a future ranking video, they added the long necks and they didn't add one on this one, which is a little weird. That's why it should be and could have been better in my opinion. It's just a matter of where it's going. 
Yeah, I more recently picked this pop up and it definitely does look pretty weird, especially in person. I would say, I would say maybe in front of the three metallic cereal pops. Yeah. Boom. All right, so we got two Jolly Bee Pops. One is just a normal variant, and then we have, I think it's like a 4,000 piece only in the Philippines Jolly Bee. I, I don't know exactly where it went to, but I know it's 4,000 pieces, so it probably was Jolly Bee restaurants. This one's weird because I don't really know about Jolly Bee all that much. I know you have a little bit of knowledge of Jolly Bee, so I guess it's up to you where these are going. Uh, what is the difference between the two of them? So, of course, you have the common one, and I think the 4,000 piece is metallic. Metallic, okay. Okay, so the common one, I'd put it at the end of really good. Okay. And then the metallic one, I'd probably throw at the end of could have been better. Yeah, I do like the cosmic Captain Crunch better than the metallic yeah. Jolly Bee, so I agree with that. Then we got ourselves the Target exclusive Glow in the Dark variants of twinkie the kid which there is once again a more common version and a chase variant with the twinkie the kids being under not bad i feel like these could be under could have been better because i don't think it was really needed to have a glow in the dark twinkie per se if you think about it yeah i was thinking about it and i agree with that 100 percent if anything if they would have made them flocked i think that would have been better even if the i guess you could call it skin or the flesh of the twinkie would be flocked i still think that that would make sense because twinkies kind of have that appearance when you look at them so i would just throw them at the end of could have been better i don't like these pops yeah, def I would definitely pick up the Jolly Bee over those. So, is it once again you like the cha or the common better than the? Cha well, in this case, they're switched up. Yeah, in this case, they're switched up, so the Chase would be in front. Okay. Now we got the Target exclusive 10-inch variant of Bullseye, which I think this is the only 10-inch pop that is made for at least this part of the Ad Icons video. So, where would you put this? Is it? Hmm. Wow. I feel like it's definitely somewhere lower than the two four inch variants, but I mean, that's just my opinion. Yeah, I'm torn between putting it in could have been better or clearance, to be honest. And just because in my opinion, I'm not going to collect 10 inch ad icons when I already collect the four inch ones and I have so many of those. So it would either be clearance or could have been better for me. Yes. And now it's up to me really to think, is it going to go at the end of could have been better? Or is it going to go in front at clearance? I'm going to put the end of could have been better because I feel like there's definitely more people that would want to get the 10-inch variant than they would get the Singapore girl. I agree with that, especially since a 10-inch and it is a dog, so it makes it a little more life-size, I guess. So I, I would agree with that. Now we have the re-releases of the Count Chocula, Frankenberry, and Booberry Pops, which you do own because, of course, the original ones are super expensive. Ah... <sighs> They, they kind of look like the OG ones, except a little bit more of an updated look. Plus, they got cereal bowls in their hands. So yeah. where are these going? I honestly feel like the three of those in the order that they are in as well should go at the beginning of really good. OK, so right in front of Captain Crunch. So it'd go Count Chocula. Then Frankenberry. Frankenberry. Booberry. Boo. Oh, almost went. Boom. There we go. Now we have the more common version of Captain Crunch with the sword. Huh. I, I don't know. Do I like the cereal one or the sword one better? That's what I'm trying to think right now. I personally like the cereal one better. I believe the one I own is the sword one, but I do like the cereal one better. I think that Captain Crunch would go... I would probably place it as the second slot in Not Bad. Okay, so right in front of Trix Rabbit. Yes. Bingo. Now we have the very first Pillsbury Doughboy Pop. Now this is going to be, and I will say this with the Rice Krispies 3 pack, which will be the last one we discuss, but I think both of these, I guess we can just get those over and done with. These, I feel like they're either going to be under really good or amazing. I don't think they're going to be any lower. It's just a matter of where I'll discuss about Pillsbury Doughboy. I think it's either going to be at the end of amazing or possibly the beginning for really good. Yeah, I personally would put the Pillsbury Doughboy... Mm. I'd probably put him in between Lucky and the Busby. Okay, so right at Amazing. Yeah, I'll agree with that. And then I definitely think, though, that the three-pack here, that should go under Amazing. It's just a matter of where 
I feel like it will either go in between Toucan Sam and Lucky the Leprechaun or in between now in this case, Lucky the Leprechaun and Pillsbury Doughboy. It's one of those two. Cause this is a great ad icon. I, I personally was thinking that it would go in between both the Tony and the Tigers. Ooh, that's a swerve and a half there. So uh, I guess the way to balance that out would be to put it in between either before or after Toucan Sam. Yeah, so originally I was thinking uh, right here but to, I guess, balance out what we were originally saying, so you originally wanted it here, we could, yeah, yeah we could put it right here. Yeah. Right in between Toucan Sam and the original Tony the Tiger. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is our ranking of every Ad Icon Funko Pop released from 2011 to 2018. Stay tuned for future videos featuring MD Shady and myself ranking 2019's ad icons in a separate video 2020 and of course we will do 2021 but anyways guys that's going to be the end of today's video if you enjoyed today's video make sure you smash that like button comment in the comment section below and let us know what your favorite ad icon funko pops were and let us know do you agree or disagree with our ranking? And like I said earlier, press the subscribe button for more content like this video in the future and press the little bell beside it to be notified of when that future content gets released. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching today's video and hope to see you guys next time. One, two, three, I'm out of here. Follow us on all of our social media platforms on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at a Funko Popcast. If you want to check out some of our other content that's featured on our channel, you can click either the playlist that's on your screen right now featuring previous episodes of our weekly podcast of Funko Popcast or we have suggested a video for you guys in relation to today's video.